so even Do you shower daily? No. Me neither. No. That's yeah. the night. That's well, nice. we're girls. We don't. We don't have to. We don't have to. The oils are important. The oils actually are really important. That's a huge thing. Yeah. yeah. Three Olive. days, five days. Yeah. yeah. Olive. Yeah. Uh, coconut. Okay. That's keep a, keep going. Humble canola. Yeah, so <laughs> humble. Canola it really is so humble. Yeah, she's um, you know, she works in the mines. She does. Yeah. And vegetable oil is. Even honestly, though she went to Cornell. Yeah, she did for mining. For mining. <laughs> yeah. Majored in mining. <laughs> and minored in Cornell would do that and be like English. sixty thousand a year. No, they would. Mining major. <laughs> mm-hmm. They yeah. have like an agricultural school at Cornell. Yeah, and that's in the city. Too. I started taking a. Uh, oh no, it's not from Cornell. There's a plant medicine thing at oh. Cornell that you can take online, but I found a free one from University of Minnesota, so I'm starting to take that. What? What sort of stuff are you learning in plant medicine? I've only seen the intro, but okay. uh, the example they give is like you know when your tummy hurts when you're a little kid and they give you a peppermint candy and a ginger ale that's plant medicine and i was like okay i feel like we knew but i think there's stuff like there's like magical seeds to give you an abortion and like you know so it teaches you that and like the way they they interact and like the things that uh lower inflammation and whatever which i'm like already obsessed with like um you can give yourself an abortion with seeds. There's like a plant. There's a flower. Which is funny because that's how you got in this mess in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking a plant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I got to look up what that is. It might be mugwort or something. It's oh, something yeah. That mugwort. Yeah. Mm. But mugwort is one of those uh, invasive species that... Uh, my friend works with on Governor's Island as a gardener where like mugwort keeps like coming up on the island and like his whole job is to make sure mugwort doesn't keep growing. Mm. So he, he like Every herds sheep. Everything's coming up mugwort. <laughs> okay, musical theater king. Sorry, go on. Keep going. <laughs> no, I love your, um, I love to see you shine. Wow. And that's, that's coming from LaGuardia. Wow. I know. I know. Oh my God. Can I use this as my credit? A LaGuardia graduate. (laughs) (laughs) The way that when I write a bio, I'm like, host a podcast with TikTok celebrity Lucas Arnold. Like, host a podcast with uh, adjacent to Timothy Chalamet. (laughs) Oh, were you there at the same time as Timmy? Yeah, it was a year below me. We talked about we talked about this on the pod a lot. Actually, oh yeah. Damn. I mean, he was at. He, famously, he was at NYU when I was there. Famously, oh. yeah. So you were adjacent as well. I was also adjacent, and he gave some people I know chlamydia. Did he give yep. you chlamydia? No. Okay. I wish do, I could say that though. Do Do you wish that maybe just just for the story that I had the Timmy badge? Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that would get me so far in my career. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> like actually, I have the Chalamet chlamydia. Yeah. Do you I know, have the Chalamet strain. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a question. Do you know how he reacted to this chlamydia news? He must know about it. I'm sure he does. I'm, I, I think he's sorry. That's really nice. That's really nice. I, if I, I, he's probably sorry. He's probably. Can sorry. you imagine Look, a world where he's not going to fuck you? <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Oh. And if he does, he's going to give you chlamydia. <laughs> Hopefully he healed that shit. Or Kylie Jenner's oh, walking around. I right hope now. so. Yeah. yeah I mean, oh no, he hasn't he hasn't let it cook. No. <laughs> no. Well, it's just it, I wouldn't say no so certainly. No. But the if I I'm reading his vibe and I'm thinking there's no way he's just like, Yeah, you play with fire, you get burned. No, he's like, Oh shit, I feel bad. Lucas yeah. is a huge yeah. crush on Timothy <laughs> Chalamet. I'm realizing this is the only explanation for him apologizing on his behalf. I love much. thinking that that's the thing that reaches Timmy too. He's like, yeah, I am sorry. You know. <laughs> hey, you. Hey, you get it. You want to hang out some time? Yeah. Should we clip this and tag him? <laughs> oh, Wait, God. we make him a collaborator. <laughs> Just send it. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever know people in like in high school who the way they would ask you out was to just say in a, re- a request to in a relationship on Facebook what? and just like totally blind? Oh, I never had that. No. Oh, are you happened. are you our age? How old are you? <laughs> Lucas and I are a combined uh uh f- how old are we combined? I think combined 58. We're combined 58 years old. Okay, so I'm 58, math. he's zero. 8. 29. Oh, wait, say it again. 
I'm 58. He's zero. Yes, that's our combined oh, age. Oh, yeah. oh, I see, I see, I yeah. see. Sorry, no, I I'm was 30. So focused on math. He's 28. Oh, yeah. I'm 26. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. wow. so you're, wow. you're my sister's age. Incredible. Incredible. I love yeah. being. I knew I recognized you from somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you might know the snacks comedian from being a sister's age. <laughs> yes, and her name is first. We before we say your name, welcome, welcome to, to Two, Two Nosy Meerkats. Meerkats podcast. Yay. We and, are here. And this 26-year-old, this this spry, spry 26-year-old. I hate when you say that. Spry? It's giving or 26. Or you can no, say limber. Both. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Neither are great. This spry. This, this spry. Yeah. This, uh, this, uh, this young woman. Yeah. This, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's really growing into her body. Oh, yeah. Well-developed. Really, developed. really a well-developed young lady. Oh, my God. Literally, you're the only person to say that. Thank you. That's awesome. First and last, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you've seen her on Comedy Central. You've seen her on Fallon. Give a round of applause. A round of applause for Rose Kelso. Hey! Yay, Rose. Thank Rose, you. Yay, Rose. That's you. Yay. Yay. But you, so you never got the chlamyd from the shell. No, I never got the, the chicha. The chicha? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the about chicha. the H in chlamydia. Right? Do you guys yeah. interact? Never. I really wish I was the type that would lie. And I'd be like, yeah, I was actually, we were really close. We right. Were, we were so close. Yeah. <laughs> I, that, that reminded me of one thing when, uh, when Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian posted their first together, the first photo together on Instagram. I commented on it and said, Pete, I remember when we had nothing. Now look at us. <laughs> <laughs> that is I love so good. I love pretending I'm best friends with someone who I've never met. That, I think that's great. Yeah. I wish I had that personality trait. I, I, it would get me. You're not hurting trolling. anyone by doing it. No, you're hurting no one. Well, I remember one time. I think that I did accidentally upset someone with this. Um, I had had something of a fight with. You know about this fight? I had like a fight with a friend of mine because she and I disagreed over whether she was getting cucked by her girlfriend. Got the fly. Wow. Did I'm you fast. catch a fly? That was yeah, incredible. I did. He's so spry. Yeah. He's so spry. well developed. Oh no, seriously. No, I, my reflexes are insane. People don't wow. expect it. That's, I guess oh, I didn't. I'm yeah. so. Are you wet right now? I'm so wet. <laughs> Flooded, actually. Yeah. Flooded. Very well developed. The yeah. Holland Tunnel is in trouble. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No survivors. Being this um, close to you. <laughs> Sorry. You so you were you were talking. Okay. So I had a I had a fight with a friend over whether she was being cucked by her girlfriend. Okay. Oh. Wonderful. I told you about this with the threesome. Still remind me. I'm. It's. I'm, it's coming to me. Two. Uh, C-list celebrities. Oh, this I know. Yeah, I. You're gonna have to tell me those names. Okay. Once the cameras are off. No, one of yeah. one of my friends from Laguardia. She was a very close friend of mine. <clears throat> uh, became later like a C-list actress and met. Um, I hope she doesn't listen to us. We've had her. On watch. <laughs> she's she's still a d a devoted listener. <laughs> that would be great. That would be good. She does watch all my stories, even though we don't talk. Oh. So, she started dating. Um, a C-list director who she met working on one of uh, working on a movie together. Okay, great. Um, two women. Radical, That's allowed. Radical. <laughs> I in your book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And my web browser history. Don't don't speak for Rose. So they get they get in a relationship, and then uh, they're together for a very long time, and then um, the, the the it slowly kind of started developing that I think this friend of mine believed that like she was hollywood now like she'd really made it but ultimately she was like c-list actress like law and order svu guest star vibes like oh, really uh -huh. like getting huge for her britches like saying things to friends of mine when like friends of mine would be like oh i'm i'm pitching a show to someone on friday what do i wear like your girlfriend is always like pitching what does she wear and then my friend would be like well my girlfriend pitches to like executives as if, you know, we were all doing community theater. So this girl's really getting, like, big for her britches. And then one... So she starts speaking to me, like, all the time as if, like, I'm from, like, a small town and, like, cannot... Could not possibly believe the celebrity encounter she's having. So one day, <laughs> one day she says to me, uh, so my girlfriend has been wanting to have a threesome for a while and suggested that we have a threesome with this, like, A-list actor on the set of the movie we're both working on. Isn't that amazing? And I was like, well, do you, I don't think that's amazing. Like you guys are working together. 
and she was like well you know it's fine like we we wrap up shooting in a couple days and i was like okay well what about the press tour like that's a year <laughs> and she was she was like what's your problem <laughs> we got in a fight and then i started getting in a larger thing where i was like i don't think that you should like necessarily be like having a threesome with an a-list celebrity when one like it's clear your girlfriend wants it more than you do and two like you're clearly just doing it for celebrity clout and three like i think you're kind of getting cucked like what if this guy has yeah, like right. so much money so much fame like he's going to steal her away right she was like you are so repressed you couldn't possibly understand mm. what i'm experiencing wow cut Bars. to like three years later she and the girl right. have broken up uh-huh. because the girl shocker 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 um when they opened up their relationship hooked up with the showrunner uh of a show that she was working on a 50 year old man uh wonderful still has the gay flag in her bio you know whatever yeah. <laughs> i'm sure she's i'm sure she's queer it's very queer to cock people but um all of this to say what was i talking about <laughs> Oh, when they got engaged, because that couple got engaged before they broke up, before my friend was cucked. When they got engaged, Caroline Calloway commented on the engagement post. Wow. And said... Who is that again? Caroline Calloway is... Uh, How would you describe? A... A woman? A controversial figure. A woman. A woman. uh, An author. Okay. Uh, Great start. Big reader. Big writer. Um... (laughs) was the famous Z-Way guest back in 2020. Oh. Yeah. When, okay. Before Z-Way had her show, I'm pretty sure this interaction with Caroline Calloway was the thing that made Showtime be like, we're going to have to give Z-Way a show. Yeah. <laughs> it was, okay. it was uh, <laughs> Caroline Calloway called White Fragility a book by Robin. Robin being an 80s pop singer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I needed that explanation. It was hard. It was a hard watch. It was a hard watch. But then, I mean, I also, if I was being interviewed by Z Way, I would eat shit on that. I would. I, I would just. Get, I would love it. I would. Uh, yeah. be, I would oh, become more would racist. Love it. Yeah. I would love it. <laughs> you would love it. Yeah. I would. I would just be happy to be there. That's. All. I would fail. I'd fail and shake and be like, "I'm so sorry. Can you please clip that out?" And then they'd put that in. You know. Yeah. I'll be like, tell me to say anything. What, what do you need? What do you need? What do you need, girly pop? What? Well, let me help you. Let Help me help you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the only way to be interviewed by Z-Way is to not answer the questions. Because she'll say things like how many Oh, no, I take everything at face value. I'm just going to answer everything. No, yeah. you can't. Sure I can. If, if, if she says how many black friends, I'd be like 58. And she'd be like, be serious. 58 is the like, number of the right, day. No. 58 is the number of the day. Yeah. You mentioned 58. I have 58. Yeah, that's it's crazy. the number of the day. I was about to go. Oh, that's the number of varieties of Heinz ketchup. I was like, no, that's fifty-seven. Oh, I'm oh, bad at math. Right. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's Heinz. what it is. It's variety. Yeah, varieties. Fifty-seven They're varieties. 50 se- so do they increase that number all the time? They have so many. They have like fucking mayo now. That's true. They have like chipotle mayo. They're going to. So far. it's like 58. okay. Wait, I got a question. Yeah. So okay, so we know that like uh, there's a debate of whether a hot hot dog is in the umbrella of sandwich. Is mayo in the same umbrella as ketchup? Well, it's a condiment. It's a condiment for sure, but yeah, dumb but if it's a, but if you said it's a variety, is it then ketchup? No, no Heinz just no. produces mayonnaise. No. What am I saying? This is not an argument or a conversation that yeah, I'm starting. Yeah, certainly not. But that's fascinating. Not really. I actually feel like that would break a politician's brain. That question you just asked, and you that, ask it like ooh. so. You have to ask it, it like no. There's an answer. <laughs> if ketchup is ketchup. And Heinz makes mayonnaise. <laughs> then what is mayonnaise? Who's flying the plane? <laughs> Who's flying the plane? And they're like, yeah. Fuck. Then Hold at what point in. does the train arrive in Albuquerque? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's a good idea for a uh, government. Yeah. You ever yeah. thought of running? Yeah. <laughs> and then I quickly convinced myself out of that. Why? Why? Uh, schooling. I think mm. schooling. <laughs> Right. You think that. that's holding back <laughs> most people? Yeah. Yeah, because I think you're kind of like, if you just put me in a governmental seat mm-hmm. and you let me speak my truth, certainly everyone would agree with me. I'm. Oh yeah, feasible. a lot of people would agree with I, you. Like, yeah. I could make, I could be like, I could make incredible change in two seconds, and then you realize there are policies, and you have to understand the ins and outs of law right. and no, loopholes. No, you don't. No, you don't. I mean, that's also true. That's, no, you don't. Maybe I'm not, giving them too yeah, much credit. Not anymore. The bar uh, is 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 in hell. 
Yeah, yeah. I actually think you would be incredible running because of your roast. Gabby, I have not seen your roast, but I... She's also an amazing uh, roast battler. Okay, then I think roast... I think you're amazing at roast battling. You'd be an incredible politician because that's really all all it is. I was voted most likely to be president in high school. You were? There you go. I was. That was my senior superlative. That's just when people thought you were gay. (laughs) Ah, damn it. (laughs) Yeah. Rats. Rats. First Um, gay president. I I didn't get a superlative. I don't think we had superlatives. LaGuardia was too big. Oh. What? There was so there we didn't get any superlatives. Mm-hmm. It was a huge school. What, superlatives what, what, at LaGuardia would have been. Wait, how big was your house? most? Yeah, People most have killed them. <laughs> most ketamine, <laughs> <laughs> most cocaine. Yeah, incredible. Most chlamydia. Most, most chlamydia. chlamydia. I wonder. Oh, my oh God. God. yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be me. It's gonna be me. Your your mom is proud of you. Like we always knew you'd get most chlamydia. chlamydia. <laughs> That's why we named you Chlamidius. Chlamidius. <laughs> Chlamydias, chlamydias, shall we? <laughs> Chlam- Jesus Christ! What what superlative did you get? Funniest, really? Wow! Funniest. What did you work for that? No, no, she's just she's just born like that. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. For that. Did I work for that? Is a really fascinating question. I wasn't. I wasn't trying to be like uh, a bitch about it. I more. That, meant, I never took it that way. I but. more meant like I know people who like. So in college we had superlatives, and I know people who like really wanted to be class clown, and they like worked their ass. Oh off yeah. For it. That's ins- I feel That's like the one opportunity to kill because they know that at no other point in life are they going to get that. Yeah. Yeah. I can't imagine what it looks like to work for that. <laughs> I think it was more like people like really wanted it. People like uh-huh. kind of were like, <laughs> they'd be crazy to get. And they were like clown. petitioning and shit. They were like, they were, uh, well, me, they should have been mine. petitioning, mm. but they were kind of just like verbally petitioning. That's I, a whole thing. That's such a trope in like high school movies of yes. like petitioning for a superlative. Yes. Oh, and if, yeah. Back to politics. Like, I don't think that works unless you petition. How does petitioning for you have to send like, I don't know. like letters well, of recommendation? What the what? yeah? Oh, maybe it's class president. Maybe I'm not thinking superlatives. That would be so funny if people were petitioning for like, uh, can you vote me hottest? Can you vote me hottest? <laughs> can you vote me hottest? Oh, my high school had most likely to be on Jersey Shore. That was a superlative that you could get voted for. That is so mean. <laughs> Who won that? Oh, I don't remember her name. I did. I she was someone who Snooki. I didn't know. She just, <laughs> yeah. It was no, snooky yeah. or something like that. How, what's the student population of LaGuardia? It's like... Penn State. 40,000. Oh, uh, 40. yeah. 40,000. Yeah, 40,000. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember. Um, I think... Uh, I know that in my year, it was like 600, and that was small. And then it became like 1,000 kids in each Okay, grade. so about 4,000 oh, kids? About 4,000. That's 000. not... My high school was 4,500, and we still did senior superlatives. You well, have no excuse. Yeah, mine was 2,000, so half that. But yeah. yeah. Still. But 10 to 12, grades 10 to 12, we didn't have nine. So you got voted funny. So were you like class clown, or were you just... Were you like one-liners, kind of? What were you like in high school? Yeah, what's the vibe? Uh, well, I, I could certainly babysit that version of myself. I... Uh, she i cringe cringe lord for sure and my old vine would evidence that um a lot of like you know how like millennial humor is very like zooming into your face kind mm-hmm. of thing it sure a yeah a lot of that a lot of that um okay what else was i like in high school were you producing stuff online when you were in high school not at like a fame level, not like people recognizing me, but uh, no, no, that's not what I asked. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. but Just yeah, I was, stuff. I was putting Were stuff you self-made? on mine. <laughs> I was self made. Yeah, yeah. Um, Were you yeah. grinding? Yeah. <laughs> so some fine shit, and um, what else was I like? I was the captain of the improv team, and it's funny because today I'm like, if you make me do improv, I will throw up on stage. I can't do it. I hate mm. it. But back then it was fun because it was like short form improv, so it was just games. Oh um, yeah, and that was that's the fun. best. Uh, what else? Well, my mom was a English teacher at the high school I went to. Uh, she's alive, not dead, but she's retired, so that's why it was. And I met your mom very briefly on the street. Oh yes, you did. Yeah, that's she was lovely. Right. Yeah, she's she's cute. She, if you talked longer, she probably would have been like, "You have to read Virginia Woolf." <laughs> <laughs> well, you said she was kind of granola right it's super granola mm. really granola family like at one point we were all vegan except for my dad which was crazy and but my dad was really into like the chemistry of it all so like you oh. know what tempeh is like fermented soybean oh i'm aware so oh he yeah make his own uh so that was always cooking in our house our house smelled like 
spice shop and farts <laughs> i'm sure oh i'm sure the yeah. toots were off the wall crazy yeah <laughs> crazy. oh my god well, a house yeah. full of vegans i don't like how at home i would feel in that in, in that aroma yeah 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 <laughs> i hate that <laughs> I, yeah i do too i'm not happy but i'm just saying i w- i know exactly what that is yeah, yeah i grew up around a lot of families like that uh-huh yeah, yeah. Well, oh sure. my god i went to one place they had a chocolate cake with whole ass grapes in it not raisins, grapes. That actually sounds incredible. That sounds really good. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck you both. It was <laughs> awful. I thought, I. you know what? I'm bonding over this. I think that sounds really good. I think that sounds really good. Because sometimes no. you're eating a big chocolate cake, like you dehydrate. Yeah, let's go yeah. eat some chocolate cake with, with grapes. No, but the cake was moist. It did not require grapes. Oh, I would... Maybe I, you're all, let's leave him behind. Me out of it. Yeah. Me out of it. I would honestly eat like a cake with full ice cubes in it. I actually think that sounds really good. Are you one of those people who's like an ice cube connoisseur? Like you, you like like the crushed ice. I, you know, I wasn't always. I actually used to refuse ice and water. And recently, fascinated. I'm just like, <laughs> like with every cup of ice. Do you have a I favorite get. kind of ice? I like little ice. Little ice. <laughs> I like I like crushed ice. Yeah. You like crushed ice? Yeah, little ice, crushed ice. Crushed ice. It's, it's, do you have it in everything? Are you someone that needs ice in everything? No, I don't have an ice cube maker at home okay water break <laughs> water break um so i i don't get ice all the time but my mom has a an ice crush machine on her fridge Ooh. um Ooh. i remember the first time i encountered one of those it was in the city they don't really have them i yeah. feel like but the first time i like went to someone's house in the suburbs i was catch me playing with that for hours mm-hmm. fuck a video game that's a I cool fridge really does captivate you when you're a kid. Oh, 100%. A cool yeah. fridge? Now they've gone overboard. Like, there are fridges with TVs on them. No. People are tweeting out of the fridge. That's Yeah, I'm like, that's... Do you remember that Ariana Grande stand was, like, grounded and, like, got all of her devices taken away so she was tweeting from her fridge? Holy shit. What? Yeah. Oh, my God. It's giving train spotting. It's giving <laughs> heroin. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> She Help me. Famously in train spotting, they're like shooting up out of the fridge. Yeah, tweeting <laughs> from the fridge. That's what that whole movie's about, actually. This is crushed ice. You have to stop. Stop tweeting out of the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> forgot they're all fucking British. Scottish, Scottish. Scottish. Which is oh, British. Excuse me. Well, that's British. I know. You can't. Uh, Scott would be furious. And I'll say it to their face. <laughs> yeah, you guys are British, right? No, d- this is a British accent. We're gonna lose our we're we're gonna lose our audience. I'll say it to their face. Yeah, your full Scottish audience. Yeah, <laughs> we got. Oh my god, this is so, it's the most popular podcast in Scotland. You can't say that. That's we're so- trying to get it to be. We're, we're trying because we're we're taking a show to the Fringe oh, this year. Yeah, have you yeah. done the Fringe? No, it's funny. We so the show I host, Don't Stop. I'm about to jazz with Two Tree Hill. Yes, plug. Um, Bell House Four Twenty Five. Uh. We applied and got a venue to be like, oh, yeah, come do it. It was like, do you know Subatomic? I think that's what it was called. No, or I something. Don't. Apparently, it's a nice venue to perform at. And then we found out how much it costs. Yeah. And I was like, that is stupid. I can't do that. Oh, and yeah. then the lodging as well. Trying to find. Yeah, you have it's... to pay for every. I was like, what kind of festival is this? Like, I, I thought that it was like, it just seems so like highly regarded, which it is. But I thought it was like, if you got in, then. I wasn't expecting like a full expense paid trip, but like I thought it was going to be like you pay for your lodging, you pay for your food, but like here's the venue and we want you to perform. That's why I want to do comedy on a cruise. Yeah. Ooh. I just met someone who did that. Really? Oh. Yeah. I don't know if I can say his name. We're not like close friends. but You, you, you had, don't have to. Yeah, we had incredible. We just like met at a show, which was an insane show. Uh huh. And I, that's actually a story I should tell. Uh, that was last week. I just posted photos from it today. Oh, nice. So um, there was this comic there, and he was telling me that he was on a gay cruise uh, as a comic, but he, I just didn't get that at first. He didn't mention that he was a comic first, so he was saying that he went on this cruise, and I was like, oh, who'd you go with? And he was like, I went alone. And I was like, that's crazy. <laughs> so you went on a gay cruise alone? I was like... Wait, is he gay? Yeah. Oh, okay. He's gay. I mean, like, the gay part isn't crazy, but I'm just like... That's the craziest part. Yeah. yeah, I'm just like... Going on a cruise alone is wild to me. But then it was... I was like, oh, you were doing comedy? And he was like, yeah, you thought I just, like, went on a cruise alone? And I was like... (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah, I did, but I wasn't gonna say anything about it, you know. But um, that would be crazy. You thought he went recreationally? Yeah. And, that... and I was like, okay, some people just like have their thing that they love to do, you know. Like <laughs> some people love to go on cruises alone. Oh yeah. Some people travel to Europe alone. Some people RV alone. So some people must just go on cruises alone, like well, down the water side. And... <laughs> All the kids are like yeah. running. They're just like pushing them out of the way. Like my turn with the zip line. <laughs> I'm getting to the front of the Aqua Show. Uh, yeah. It's a great impression of him. Yeah, I know. It's ex- yeah. It's yeah. exactly like. <laughs> It's well, just like that guy. Well, I'm imagining if it's a if it's a if it's a gay cruise where you it's like that is the point of the cruise. Would it not make sense to be go there as a single person to like just like let anything happen? No, is that, yeah, no. Okay, no. Need... wait. Tell me why that's wrong. Because I've been cruise. on a cruise. It makes no sense to go alone. <laughs> no, I've sense. never been on a cruise. Um, I've never been on a cruise. Think either. of like yeah. a bingo hall, but like 25 <laughs> times and on the water. Well, now I'm horny. Yeah, you should go on a cruise alone. It really sounds terrible. I've never had a desire to go on a cruise. I mean, I went with my best friend and I had so much fun, but it was because I was with a person. If I had been there by myself, that would have been insane. Oh, God, no. Oh, now suddenly I'm seeing it. I'm like, oh, no, thank thank God I'm not there alone. Yeah, Yeah, no, 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 I can't. I would, I think I would go crazy. Yeah. Um, Apparently Carnival Cruise Lines is bankrupt, failing. What? I learned that from, you know how sometimes you're in an elevator and the elevator has the news in it? Yes. I learned that from an elevator the other day. I don't like hearing <laughs> that. Let's start a GoFundMe. It's like the news you get in the back of an Uber on like those iPads on the stuff. back. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Yes. iPad games piss me the fuck off. Me too. <laughs> it make, I'm like, make it hard. Fuck you. Like, yeah. It's like the iPad. Okay. If you're unfamiliar, the iPad games in the back of Ubers go a little something like this. Guess the shape. The shape looks like a blob with eight tentacles. Is it a cloud? Is it broccoli? Is it an octopus? Or is it a stick? And and you sit back there because you're bored. And you- I, lo- I love going a wrong answer every time and then the iPad gets disappointed in you. That's my favorite Aww. bit is when they're like, no, try again. And I'm try like, again. no, thank you. <laughs> no, we're not going to try. Yeah. You press the wrong button. The iPad is like, are you slow, you fucking loser? <laughs> we see how old you are. You <laughs> we know your social security. You should go on a cruise alone. You fucking <laughs> piece of shit. Call back. Let's call back. Very call good. Back. So wait, what was oh. the crazy show you did? Okay, so the show, um, it was at the Slipper Room. Mm-hmm. It, I'm not going to give too many details. Okay, like the, the host was great. The actual show was fun to do. Lineup was great. The women in the crowd, 56 years old. Nice. On average, which I love seeing when I'm in a room because I, I do feel like an older. I grew up with older What's your siblings. poll with 56 year old ladies? Be honest. They, uh, well, I think I can feel like their younger best friend. Mm. Oh. And so I, they love me. And I've had this experience before. Naturally, that happened on stage. Unfortunately, I went last, which is, I mean, that is fortunate. That's great. You know, headlining. Yeah. That's nice. But. They were inebriated by that point. So I was getting heckled, but it was like friendly heckle. Have you ever had that? Yeah. Yep. And you're just like, thank you so much. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Yep. yep. Like you just feel so I'm like, oh, I can't remember what I'm doing. Like if I if I get a little sidetracked, I like cannot get back on it. Yeah. Anyway, I do this bit. And in this bit, the gag of the bit is uh, it's a character. It's so hard to explain because it just doesn't sound funny when I explain it. But basically, I pull out a gun at one point and it's an actual like water gun so um and then i have one hidden in the back of my pocket uh so i pull out this gun and part of the gag is that i shoot someone off stage like who's in a voiceover that's playing over a track yeah. and then i go fuck and i hand the gun to someone in the audience there's this woman lisa who's been heckling me the whole show and she's just like yes i love you yeah and whatever and i was like lisa take the gun whatever lisa grabs this gun she stands up i didn't even hide her name that is her actual name she stands up she Shout out Lisa. points the gun at me the rest of my set and everyone else in the crowd is like lisa sit down but they're all fucked up too and i'm on stage actually so scared like the feeling even if it's a fake gun you're like Oh fuck! I'm gonna die. This is how I'm gonna die. Is this Ooh. this? Bit? And she she kept going. I got your back, and I was like, that is not the bit. 
there's no I got your back there's there's nothing like that she just didn't move and then at one point I tried to grab it from her and she went <laughs> I was like, oh my god oh my god so in the photos I posted you can see me I have the gun she has the gun uh, I tried to take it back and she's like no she's like no she's like that's it's so crazy. good so that was insane and then I hid after the show because I was like I can't meet this woman shout out Lisa yeah shout out Lisa. Lisa found out that she recently went through a divorce apparently oh. she was a oh she needed that gun she, she you should have let her keep the gun, that gun. Yeah. I yeah. wish I I wish I knew that. It's I like when you hit a home run and you let them keep the ball. Yeah. Oh, that's so it. How did you find out she went through a divorce? She is the friend of the mother of the host. So she oh. came there and the host told me, like, she shows up every time, <laughs> all the time and does this. And recently she's been drinking a lot oh. because she I know it just gets sadder and sadder the more we go. But that can be funny. Um, <laughs> and so... Went through divorce, has been drinking, and uh, I think just needs attention. Yeah. Needs to get dick down. I, yeah. It'd be crazy if someone in the audience stood up and was like, Lisa, put the gun down. It's just like a hot man who <laughs> just yeah. takes her back and just rails her. It's Antonio oh, Banderas. Oh, oh, yeah. What a dream. L- R- Lisa. Lisa. <laughs> Put the gun. That's more Russian. No. Yeah, no. Yeah. Lisa, put the gun put the gun. <laughs> Yeah. I can do it because he's white. He is a white man. He is not. Okay, I will say that is the gag of my bit. (laughs) I come out as a Spanish woman. And the whole thing is that. Okay, Hilaria. It's so funny. And then, I okay, I'm not saying it's so funny. And my bit is so funny. Yeah. (laughs) yeah. It's It's so funny because Latinos are inherently hilarious. (laughs) Hilarious. But um, she's a Spanish woman, so I do this whole accent. And then there's a line in the song that goes, "This, this character is a white woman from Spain, so I can do the accent. So oh I just had to. there you go that's yeah. what hilaria said famously see yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see mommy claro que claro que si. Si. <laughs> que malo. <laughs> wait i thought of something the other day because i've been watching a lot of 30 rock i just got on to season two i'm my first ever watch of 30, 30 rock. rock is very good and season two famously. oh my god does it kick up a notch but i was thinking because as i'm watching alec baldwin it's that episode where he does all of these like black characters in a therapy session for Tracy. I was thinking, oh, he's a hundred percent done an accent he shouldn't do with Ilaria. He's a hundred sure. like I'm in sure. the privacy of their own home, they do accents. Alec Baldwin is a motherfucker from Long Island. The trash that has come out of his mouth, I am certain. He's from Long Island? Yeah. Is he from the same part of Long Island you're from? No. No. Massapequa. Oh, oh boy, the Baldwin boys are from Massapequa. There's Whoa. no what, doubt. What, in my mind. what is Massapequa known for, if anything? Racism. Ra- yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Homophobia. Yeah. Nice. Homophobia. Yep. But that's like all the of Trinity. Kind of the big three. The Trinity. Yeah. yeah. The big three. three. Definitely the big three. That's what I get on my bagel. <laughs> yeah. My big three. Um, homophobia <laughs> rising. Give me one with everything on it. Racism sun. <laughs> transphobia moon. Transphobia moon. <laughs> yeah. Big transphobia moon. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so emotional. <laughs> And um, my Lilith uh, is in fat phobia. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it, but I got it. God, that is so... What's Lilith? Island. You just haven't uh, run around the block enough to know what a Lilith is. Or dated enough lesbians. L- have you been to Lilith Fest? I have not. Can oh someone tell me what's going on? It's like, okay. We're talking. It, we're, <laughs> we're, we're just girls gabbing. It's like yeah. on CoStar, you know, the signs. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, you Ugh. should get you should get on it. Are you I, not no. you don't believe in science? No. You don't believe in science? This okay, Oh this, science, this is, excuse me. Sorry. Science, no, 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 science. Science. It, she science. said science, I said science. They're this, the same. Lucas, this infuriates me. Yes. And I'm gonna tell you why. Go on. Talk about it. Uh, um, okay. First things first. Every time I talk to someone and they say that they don't believe in science, I'm like, are you so bold as to say that human individualism is as individual as you think it is. Do we really think that we are floating on this rock in space Mm -hmm. and there is no effect of the stars and the alignment of the planets on our behavior and the ways we are? Yes. You think there's no? None. That's insane. He's insane. That's insane. That's hubris. That is is the arrogance of man, the convergence of the twain, if you will. (laughs) It's like, I... It has to be, are you an Aries? Capricorn. Are you no. an Aries? Keep guessing. Sagittarius. Uh, Sag rising. Scorpio sun. No, no, no. Don't give her heads. 
Why I should I, I not? It. We're dabbing. <laughs> Are you a Libra? Libra rising. <gasps> wow. Because the rising sign is like how you come off. That's how you come off. What do you think Lucas says? Yeah, oh, actually, yes. No, I, I, I know all three because someone gave me uh, my birth chart. Because he's been ran through. <laughs> Libra? Something. Keep guessing. Cancer? Keep guessing. Is that, are all those wrong? Nada. So they're all wrong. Yeah. Oh, okay. The sun um, sign is kind of like, no, 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 you wouldn't no, guess no, no, it no. at first, but. No, 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 don't, don't say anything. It makes yeah. sense. G- give, her, give her nothing. What the hell are you? Keep going. Keep going. Dun, dun. I don't think you're an earth sign. Interesting. Okay. Think of the little bitch sign. <laughs> Pisces? <laughs> no. Oh. But you're close. Gemini? Yes. Wow. You don't come off as a Gemini, though. Not that they're bad. Gemini's okay. Are, I'm a Gemini moon. Okay. Gemini's are curious yes. and mm-hmm. indecisive. So and is everyone. No. Not everyone is curious and indecisive. <laughs> That's okay? true. Some yeah, people if... are incurious and decisive. <laughs> I think everyone. Some who... people just know what they're. They're like. Mm, yeah. I, don't I think want to explore everyone that. who's into astrology is curious. Astrology and astronomy were developed at the same time, and the church. I don't think astronomers like down. to hear that. They sure do. They, Wait, that's just a fact of history. What do you think about the thirteenth plant? Didn't didn't it come up that there was like a thirteenth sign or something? And then people are like, mm, I don't think so. Yeah, there is supposed to be a 13th sign. Wait, can I can I say something though? Uh-huh. Because you said not an Earth sign. Are you a Virgo? You, no, no, no. But d- do you would you would you just agree on camera that you said not an Earth sign? I don't I don't like where this is going. Just just go. Look, with me. I'm also not the I'm not saying I'm the scientific force on it. I'm not asking you to be. Yeah, Rose I said I Tyson. don't believe you're an Earth sign. Yeah, Taurus Moon, Taurus Rising, baby. Okay, well I don't get that, but but. Someone else might. There might. There's. There are actual astrologers out there who would look at you and be like, "Taurus Moon, Taurus Rising." Wait, I will. I will. T- I will give you this. I will give you this. I did a show. Uh, Obo Gilmore, another comedian in uh, New York. She runs a show called Constellation Prize, which is where uh, a bunch of comedians on. She also has an astrologer on. Who? Uh, so she gives you. She tells you like what certain signs you are. Like what this one's rising sign is. What this person's moon sign is. And then gives them in a bowl mixed up to the astrologer and then she matches you based on what she thinks you are based on your set. Uh-huh. It's a very interesting idea for a show. It's a great show. And yeah. then uh, she gives them out to you and then Oboe sa- and says, all right, uh, guesses are made. Now everyone uh, reveal what yours actually is. And I was like, wait, am I supposed to know what the fuck mine is? And then Oboe was like, you have the right one. I was like, oh, great job. Wow. So See, okay, know. so an astrologer guest you. Guessed you yeah That's from really... multiple choice no there are so many permutations and <laughs> yeah. like there is Tea. a lucas you will one day believe in this no. i because it's not even belief it's just i'm like of course it's real there yeah. are certain behavioral categories that people fall into like okay virgos organized <laughs> every time every time or sometimes they struggle with organization i'm a virgo moon and i think that's why i get so Shut stressed up. and neurotic <laughs> well, well how is that a thing they're organized except when they're not what is happening <laughs> okay that was you did me dirty on that one i will say you really did me dirty well well but well, well perhaps it's your your also i <laughs> You're right. You're right. And I'm so sorry. That was very um, Scorpio son of me. It's so Scorpio son of you. <laughs> yeah. Um, but Sagittarius, the fact that I knew that Gabby was a Sagittarius rising, mm-hmm. I think that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Did you guess Sagittarius rising like those two things together? No, I said Sagittarius. But yeah. I'm and you were taking and you were it. you're taking a little bit of valor on the rising right there. Well, but then it was placed for me. So I'm yeah. not saying I guessed it right immediately like that in the in the placement of your chart, but <laughs> certainly, certainly the same way you don't know the stars, she doesn't know the stars. We don't none of us who mm. know the stars, we can only guess. I okay. have not studied the stars. An astrologer has properly studied the stars and the planets and yeah. the behavioral qualities that align with those planets and where the position of the sun was when you were born. Correct. Okay. But, but there's a problem though, is that the stars have and the stars and the moon and everything has moved since astrology was founded, and it's not caught up for that. So all well, of the, the science predi- has been updated. Lucas, we don't star use ships are meant anymore. to fly. What? Star ships are meant, meant to, to fly. fly. Hands up and touch the, the sky. sky. Exactly. Can't stop because we're so Moving high. On. <laughs> Let's, Let's do this I, one more time. Yeah. Do you, why do you think there is a gender divide on astrology? 
because men are smart. <laughs> Boys go to Jupiter to get more Jupiter. <laughs> that is so true. Um, why is there a gender uh, divide? I, well, I do think I do think men sometimes, not mm-hmm. all men, yeah, not cancer men. Uh, true. Men. Men don't like to be figured out in this way. I don't mind being figured women, out. Women, really, women. <laughs> I'm interrupting. I apologize. Keep going. No, thank you. Um, I feel women, since we are, I wouldn't say emotionally driven, but like there is a, an, a, a uh, um, this is terrifying for me. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm, my armpit. <laughs> No, you're doing fine. No, you're doing good. You're doing great. I don't know how to say this in a proper way. You need to help me. I okay. I think women I know what you're saying. Women, women are in touch with their emotions. Yes, in a certain way. We grow up in touch with our emotions. We we're are forced to be. We're yeah. We are also like a little bit designated to be like mothers from a very early age. Mm-hmm. In some yeah, in some cases we're yeah. emotional caretakers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and but like also understanding your emotions is such a part of female development and like correct and and understanding your hormones and your cycle and how your cycle affects your emotions and all these things Uh, and i feel like astrology comes along and you're like oh well there you go it makes sense it all makes sense yeah you know and i there there are definitely variations on it but um but i think for the most part you realize like like oh damn my my behaviors and my emotions are can be categorized in a certain way and it's helpful sometimes too like i feel like also maybe it's because we get called crazy a lot we're kind of like am i being crazy or what am i feeling yeah where am i a libra uh, (laughs) yeah am i just being a fucking scorp right now i'm just being such a fucking libra can i can i ask you a question Mm -hmm. what would it take to convince you you know what i don't think this is real anymore what would it take well, I don't think it's not real. I th- really think it was a science that was studied. No, I, I, I'm, I'm hearing you. You're saying that yeah, you, yeah. you're like, no, this is what you're saying is this is a real system that has been built and proven. And I and I accept it and I use it in my life. What I'm asking you is <laughs> what would it take to prove to you? Well, uh, to Lucas what would it is take to change like, your mind? What man would it take <laughs> yes. come along? No, but I what, would it, mind, ta- what would it take to change your mind? Well, I'm sure if I knew, my mind probably would have been changed. Yeah. Or uh, you know, you know what? I might have an answer to that. Okay. Okay. If it turned out that the Chinese system was more effective, the one where you're like a goat. Oh, the zodiac. <laughs> yeah. But I think they go in line. I think they. It's they just like, I think they are related in many ways. I think they. Uh, from a different system, I haven't studied the Chinese zodiac in any way. But I, I, <laughs> I'm certain that I don't know shit about it. But if it turned out it was so accurate, I'd be like, fuck the stars. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's another way of interpreting the stars. Yeah, that's, that's you know true. What I, mean? I think there is a science between interpreting <laughs> the universe and its effect on human individuality. Do you know what behavior. you are? Animal? What? Do you know what animal you are? Ox. Ox. OK. I'm a rooster. Oh, for, for the Chinese zodiac? Yeah. Pig. Classic. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are those again? I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna piggy. Google. There's Jamie, a... pull that up. Yeah. There's well. There's the dragon. There's the snake. Okay. There's a rabbit, uh, rat, ram, tiger. ram. Okay. Animal there's meanings. Monkey. There's Chinese. Monkeys. I know because I used to watch a show called uh, The Legend of the Golden Dragon. Oh. It was a great little cartoon from the early 2000s. I used to watch Shaolin Showdown. Shaolin Showdown. That was so racist. It was oh, such yeah. a racist show. <laughs> I have it on my computer. Oh, fuck. I, da- I bootlegged the we whole series. We used to be able to be racist. That was fun. That, you know, that was good. Um, oh, that's my right. God. I do remember. Rat that is you. quick-witted, I, I, resourceful, versatile, and kind. The ox. You said you're an ox. Mm. Uh, diligent. Dependable strong determined Mm -hmm. are these resonate yeah yeah i see i would say this one's a little more vague yeah that's super vague this is more vague than perhaps compassion generous diligent for the pig i think i'm all those things but you're also diligent yeah we're all no this is this is certainly a little more vague yeah it's Uh, almost like cold reading i think the thing that i like about astrology as well Mm -hmm. is in many ways when you when you read up on it all the time and you see how the planets are changing they specifically will talk to you like these 
these apps or astrologers or whatever, they'll say like, okay, there's an eclipse coming and because of the alignment in your chart, this you're going to feel these things. So because of what's happening in the sky. Yeah. And I'm like dead ass. I get seasonal yeah. depression. Why wouldn't Jupiter have something to do with the way my finances work? Mm. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> 100 percent that's so funny and that that reminds me of that whole controversy of like when matt rife had the joke that was like just because jupiter has a ring and you don't and then it was pointed out saturn is the one that has rings that's crazy do you remember that's that? so funny no, I, don't remember that. I remember did you try watching his special no i, I tried watching it. it i made my you had a dream I, about him yeah i did what why happened? i what? don't remember are you he okay was, he was in my dream last night <laughs> Last night? Holy was in my dream last this night. This is astrological what's happening that oh, he's God, been brought this is... up. Because I haven't spoken about him in months. And now you're he's in your dream and he's now we're dream. talking about him. What, what Do you remember what happened in the dream? I remember seeing his face. Bad start. Bad start. And I think it's because I saw, before I went to bed, I think it's because I saw the clip where he's on Wild and Out and he touches Zendaya. And oh, everyone yeah. freaks out, which is awesome. And I'm like, as they should. Um, but he was just in my dream for a second. I just saw his pillow face and then it, sorry. Uh, Wait, what's a pillow face? That's when you get nipped and tucked. Mm -hmm. Oh, the fillers are crazy on yeah. him. Have you seen like what his jawline looked before Ooh. and then more recently and the no. massive change? Wow. He no. went from a point to like a, a sort of a, an octagonal sort of, it was like, yeah. It was a weird. Damn. They're all getting fillers now. Ryan Gosling's filler is crazy. Oh, I haven't seen it. Yeah. I feel Bummer. like it's like, I don't know. I, you can do whatever you want to your face, but like, are we going to see the return of like the, the, of the face again? Yeah. Of the just kind of normal. It's nice when someone just ages and it's just like, it's just like, yeah, you look great. Meryl I think we Street. leave that to Fuck British you. actors. I think British mm. Shakespearean actors. Correct. Real thespians. Yes. Love the aging process. Yeah. Yeah. Thespian gay bisexual. Yeah. Transgender. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. TGBT. Yeah. TGBT. Yeah. TGBT. Yeah. TGBT. I, I agree. I think, I think there's something really joyous to me about like seeing Ian McKellen like in the wild on like a red carpet or something. 100%. Like, uh, Dame Judy Dench. Oh, yeah. The she queen. She touched her face. Love and if she, she has, looks great. It's just a, just slight. My hot take is she was, uh, she phoned it in for most of Cats, but she had one monologue where she was magnetic. Wow. Yeah. I can't even remember. I That was the first film I watched after a breakup in 2019. Oh, I'm so, oh, God. And I sobbed. Oh. <laughs> I was dying. No. It was like early 2020 that came out. Must and have been a yeah. bad breakup. It was so bad. Oh, no. But oh, sorry. No, it's awesome now. Now I'm dating Brooks and it's all good and and we are in love. How long um, have you guys been together? A year and a half. Whoa. A little more than a year and a half. I love that. Barack? Yeah. Barack? Did you say? Brooke. <laughs> yeah. Brooke. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Brooks. 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 Yeah. Brooks. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Barack was the bad breakup. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm sorry that. Two terms. Over text. Two yeah. Terms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How would how would he say it uh, over a text message? Oh, over text. Uh, be like, uh, uh. Uh, Rose. Uh. <laughs> Uh, mid. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Let me be clear. Uh, uh, uh hello. Uh, <laughs> uh respect, but, uh, the, your game weak. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh yeah, no, I, I like the idea of him being, like, really mean. Because he's yeah. such a polite, such a polite person. I love the idea of him being just, like totally dispassionate yeah, yeah that's yeah. i think that's my yeah. that's my that's my idea that would have made you cry yeah. at the movie Cats. like a little bit of a fuck 100%. boy yeah. yeah getting broken up with obama by oh obama. my god what what got you about the movie cats i don't remember after that break i think i was i think i was like blacking out as i was watching it oh and my god were you like, drunk as well when no. i saw I, I was in the movie theater i was drunk i was drinking whiskey i went with my mom okay so oh you could totally drink with your mom and while seeing cats that's a good it day it was like during the day Yes. Great. <laughs> Keep adding more details. All a very good yeah. story. Wait, can I? When I when I saw Cats mm -hmm. in the movie theater, and then you see Judy Dench coming out very slowly as Old Deuteronomy, and then like two cats are like, oh, well, you know it. Who's that? 
it's old Deuteronomy. And then a girl in, in the row ahead of me just said, please don't sing about it. <laughs> That's so funny. My other thought mm. on Cats was Jason Derulo is amazing. Oh, I forgot. He did do that. a good job. I can't tell you a single fucking thing about that movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It was, it was I remember very emotional. James Corden. I remember Taylor Swift. I remember. Yeah, she was in it. What are the two the like Rosencrantz and Guildenstern or whatever? Oh yeah, Rebel Wilson and James Corden. They and were in it together. No, the they're like the the je- Jellicle, whatever the fuck. Oh yeah, they're all yeah, they're all well, they're fucking all Jellicle. jellicle. Oh, they're all Jellicle cats. Okay. Yeah. Who are the two? They're like two like da 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 like a, they're a little duo. Oh, I thought that that was I, Rebel and, and James. I, but I they're, don't they're remember. cat names. <laughs> oh, um, um. Cat and cat. Like Hibbledy cat and, and Skibbledy or some shit. It's Cats like, and Delicatessen. Yeah. It's yeah. Really Wait, yeah. Wait, I need to look it up. Okay. Look it up. Was there any other like crazy things you did to heal from that breakup? <sighs> crazy things. No, because that happened. And then, so I was supposed to move into his apartment. Like it was like a pretty and thank God I didn't because that would have been a horrendous. I'm happy it should have been broken up. Uh, then I moved in with my mom because I didn't have an apartment because I had ended my lease and I was like fuck and that was January 2020 and so lay, lay twins as a uh, Plato and Socrates. I think that may have been the no. They, there's a different name. I have to pee so bad. Do you go, mind? Go, go piss. Okay, go well, piss. Um, you should leave all of this in. Oh yeah, we will. Okay. okay. Oh. oh well those that's not even alliterative like, do you know what's funny do, do you know what's funny is i actually thought of oh is it mungo jerry and rumple teaser but i thought i can't say that <laughs> i can't say that mungo jerry and rumple teaser but that's still not ringing a bell did they have like a, a name together i don't know that, like a band like mungo like jerry. tenacious d yeah yeah they were called tenacious what's the song that they sing I only know Rum Tum Tugger memories. Rum and Tum Tugger. That yeah. is what I thought such that, a good song. That's what I thought they were. I thought their name was Rum Tum Tugger. No, the Rum Tum Tugger is the song. The Rum Tum Tugger is played by Jason Derulo, and the Rum Tum Tugger song is like, the Rum Tum Tugger is a curious yes, cat. cat. If you offer me pheasant, I'd rather have grubs. I can play that role. Wow. <laughs> You'd be good at that. It's like you need like ultra swag, which I have. Stunning. Stunning. <laughs> Um, we were talking about the craziest thing you had done, like post breakup. Oh yeah, post breakup. What, what post breakup moves? Yeah. Well, it, I just I moved in with my mom, and then COVID hit, and then that ended up being the best year of my life. Was, wow. Yeah. Not because of the tragedy of the pandemic, and oh, I thought you loved that. Oh. You were like, "There's a lot of people." No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> um, but. No, it was just, it was like that. There's no better way to heal than living with your mom. <laughs> Interesting. That Moms would not heal everywhere me. are like, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. You are, you're making a lot of people so happy. I'm so glad again. Uh, no, that was awesome. And then, so I can't really remember. I don't think I did anything crazy, which was awesome. Except see cats with your mom. That was pretty crazy. That's that pretty was bad. Crazy and crying. That was kind of bad. Yeah. Um, also, I just, you might have to cut this out. I, Melissa. Um, yeah. <laughs> Melissa Clap. She told me and Hunter. So I do have to go soon because I have to be at Hunter's house in Williamsburg yeah, yeah. by two. No, we're gonna get to the yeah. end segment very soon. Okay, yes. okay, no, no worries. She told me to come in. I'm doing this dumbass show tonight. Told me to come into rehearsal for a tech rehearsal at six. She bumped it to four. And Hunter was like, Yeah, we have to go there at four. And I said, Hunter, I'm not going there at four. And he's like, Well, I am. And I was like, That's crazy. Why are you doing that? So Melissa Harris. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I told her my shit. I Melissa yeah, but- tried to stay with me a while ago. Um, it was like two years ago or something. Her opening message was like, "You seem nice. Uh, I'm looking for a place to crash." And immediately, I think I'd just seen enough episodes of Broad City where like they had like homeless ID or whatever. Where I was like, "Surely she's homeless. There's no way." So. Yeah, I didn't watch enough Broad City. I should have. Anyway. All right. All right. Let's get into listener submissions. Okay, Are great. you ready to it. help some children? I guess that sounded weird. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, I, I yeah, Gabby. Am. Really? Uh, wow. Help. Okay. Well, I'm suggesting how hel- I'm suggesting nice things. Ooh. I have a, I, I like this one. This question. I like that question too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, meerkats, flying coast to coast soon. How do you fill your time on planes? 
What do you like to do on a plane? I have gotten really into not watching the movie on a plane. Mm, and okay. uh, I like to write. I like to use it as like, okay, this is my focus time. Mm-hmm. I insist on having an aisle seat every time. Yes. I, I can't move. not have a aisle seat because you saw how many times I've had to piss since I've been here. Oh, yeah. Imagine yeah. me on a plane. You're a girl who pisses. I am a girl who pisses and never misses. Um, so that's, that's nice. Thank you. That's good. That's what we're going to title the episode, I think. Pisses and never misses. That's right. I th- I suggest that people... What do I like to do on a plane? I like to take out my little computer and go... And write... And... Um, play Sudoku. I'm a big mm. Sudoku. I'm like 80 oh, years yeah. old. Oh, yes. Sudoku I love Sudoku. Sudoku is so good on a plane. It's so awesome. Sudoku hits different when plane is the vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Am I young? Yup. So mm-hmm. young. So okay, young. well, what about oh you guys? Oh my god. I like to, I like to occasionally read on a plane. I like to sleep on a plane. I like to take a big fat edible and question my existence on a plane. I can't. If I did that, hospital. They would emergency <laughs> land the plane. I'd be like, open the door. Boeing, you just jump out. Yeah, easy. If this, if easy. this plane is they not a Boeing, it it's yeah. gonna be a Boeing. Yeah, today. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What if what if Boeing didn't do anything wrong? It was just people taking edibles and jumping. <laughs> it was just people taking edibles and manifesting. Yeah, just that's beautiful. Yeah. Breaking open the door. Um, that's crazy. That's gonna make me not want to fly. All of this information on Boeing now. I know. Well, I used to be really afraid of flying, and I'm still a little afraid of it. But I think I like le- I I lean into the fear where I'm. I'm so sure I'm going to die. I just start questioning my whole life. And in a way, it's looped back around to me not being scared of flying anymore. Are you Jewish? Yes. Yeah, of course. Me too. So, Makes sense. Could you imagine if I, I wasn't? Or, and I was like, of course. <laughs> yeah. you Jewish? Of course you are. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that tracks. Yeah. yeah. I like flying. I also like flying. I love it. This Boeing shit is the first time I've ever been like, can't catch me on a plane like that that's insane yeah oh, cutting no. corners you guys are cutting corners on airplanes that's crazy and no it's they still shot so the safe. whistleblower i'm so sorry yeah that's him right that, now that that's, that's the whistleblower boeing. that's boeing that's boeing hello boeing they're like don't look behind there we go okay Spin. i also my other thing i love on planes watching chopped oh yeah but someone just tweeted about this they haven't updated the episodes of Chopped for a long time. It's like pasta challenge and like the chocolate challenge. Oh man! And she tagged on Ted airplanes? Allen in the yeah on airplanes. <laughs> she tagged Ted Allen, being like, "Can we do something about this?" And Ted Allen replied, being like, "I'll get right on it." But I'm sure they won't change it. That's insane. Oh. But I love watching Chopped on a plane. And what airline is that? Just planes in general? Delta, I think. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hmm. It's nice. The official yeah. sponsor of chopped yes ah yeah i see i had no idea Hmm. i i I will say i'm i'm basic i liked i love the movie on a plane yeah i love the movie on a plane it's also a chance where i'm like oh i've never seen that before like i saw casablanca yeah on a plane before and i was like this is an amazing movie and i never would have seen it unless i was in that environment damn i do like watching movies that i don't want to like pay for or support with streaming yeah i watched annie hall on a plane because i was like i should see this movie but i'm certainly not gonna like give woody allen money so (laughs) i guess i'll just watch on a plane and it was um how many people supported louis ck just because of delta (laughs) yeah if you've never seen this i mean i was a lot of people going i would watch it too yeah yeah (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh honestly i've done that sometimes when i'm on a plane i like to watch like a cartoon like just oh, something yeah. really mindless but i get so embarrassed so it's like you ever like pick a movie and then you're like oh my god the person next to me is gonna see what's on my screen yes like that happens to me all the time well i know about that because i do watch movies off of other people's screens oh i do. The oh that's the I best think everyone does I think yeah it's always the person to my like one, it, on the diagonal yeah, yeah on that's like, how i saw so much of dear evan hansen <laughs> wow <laughs> on someone else's screen i forgot that that was a movie that was insane yeah where <laughs> his face is like melting off yeah. from the cgi oh, God, oh. i need to see that ben. i want to see that happen it's phenomenal but okay should we have another one um yes uh hi i'm a huge fan of the podcast thank you so much thank you um i've been struggling with feeling unwanted i'm 16 and i've never had a serious relationship i know i'm not unattractive but i just struggle with the idea 
that I am not good enough for a guy to want me. Holy shit. Thanks for listening. Also, hi to the guest. P.S. My pronouns are she, her. Okay. You're 16. Give yourself a moment. Yeah. Yeah. You're six. Good enough for a guy to want you. Do you know guys? They're they're the worst. You you don't want a 16 year old guy. But you certainly don't want an older man. No, 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 no. <laughs> but let's no clear guy. up the subtext yeah. here. No guy, go go older. I Should am- you want someone, it would it must be age appropriate. I also think you're going through a fundamental high school experience, and you're not. You it feels like shit now, mm. but it will make you grow in gorgeous ways. I didn't have a a serious relationship at 16. I think I maybe I started dating my high school sweetheart at like 17. Wow, but. That's pretty young, still. Still, and, yeah. And, and I love him. He's a really great guy, and we're friend friendlies, friendly. Yeah. <laughs> we're friendly. We're friendly. We're restaurant, <laughs> and, we're, and we're the chain. Um, but in some ways, I'm like, oh, I wish I didn't. You know, uh, just because. We well, talk about that. Yeah. In in the sense that, like, I I think it was really special in high school, but then it continued into college, and we were long distance, mm-hmm. and. <clears throat> Uh, I I wouldn't I don't regret any part of that relationship, but you know I was like young, and then you kind of enter hookup culture late, and that yeah. feels so hard when you're like everyone else has been hooking up, and then you're like oh I don't know how people do this and like what to say and like why aren't we hanging out like <laughs> you know yeah so I uh, yeah and I think when you're 16 you you're supposed to have these emotions of like feeling unwanted and. Uh, less than and everyone's insecure even if even if no one is saying it i'm telling you 16 is the age you feel all of the worst feelings yeah absolutely and they make you funny they yes. make you so funny you you are you are being developed as a person so much right now i would also say again like i i always struggle with when people are like i worry a, i'm not good enough for a guy like not to be a misandrist but like girl low low bar uh, guys no guys like i don't know like you could walk in and piss on his floor and he would be like i've done worse than that five times this week 100 percent. yeah men are boys especially at 16 are awful and maybe you have a crush on one and that's okay but that doesn't make him like the, the idea that you wouldn't measure up no to a man you're you're putting you're putting a, a a cockroach on a pedestal. T. But at the same time, let's also talk about external validation versus internal validation. So true. Okay. Like that's a hard thing to learn because you, especially when you're that age, you think everyone's watching you. Yeah. Uh, your self worth is determined by the people around you. It's a very hard thing to get over. I mean, I'm 26. I'm 10 years older than you, which is crazy and honestly just made me nauseous. But um, like, I'm still dealing with that I, and i'm a comedian mm. we're all comedians of course external validation is so prevalent and hard to get over but i think at 16 this is your first lesson of like well you feel unwanted because you know because of a, a boy not looking your certain i don't know whatever what was the thing that they said it was she's worried that she's not going to be good enough for a guy to want her it's She's it's been never unwanted. girl you are good enough you yeah. are good enough it, and a, a man if you are interested in a relationship it will come okay yeah. it's also it's you are conflating like the possibility that he may not be into you with you not being good enough that's not those two don't line up in any way that has a relationship you th- there's no version of you being th- like you can be good enough and he still doesn't like you. You could be the most perfect person in the world and he just, you may not fit his preferences. That's, that is, I think, the mistake that really carries on to dating for all ages is people thinking it's something they did wrong for something that is completely out of their, of the, of their control. Yeah. yeah. I also just wonder if like. Be kind to yourself. I don't know. I'm sure there's some guy out there in your school who desperately wants you, but you don't notice him. And that's okay. And he and actually he, wrote in and said, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm feeling unwanted. And if you, you look slid, under your seat. You yeah. Slid, Colin. yeah. He wrote in and he, he said he wants you so bad, but you're like, oh, he's ugly. Yeah. <laughs> I do think my, my best friend has this thing where she thinks like if an ugly guy likes her, that means she's ugly. I get that. 
but that's crazy <laughs> do you think like men aren't jerking off to like kate upton because they're like oh she's so out of my league <laughs> that's <laughs> it, it, the logic yeah. it's like the men who approach you like if you uh you know, oh yeah if they think they're in your league yeah and yeah like what the fuck like not yeah. to be a judgmental ho it's not like that's happening to me every every <laughs> but, waking moment of my life but are you saying it like happens sometimes and you're like dude it has happened once or twice and i'm and i'm like wow bummer <laughs> you know but uh, <laughs> for you this yeah. is real bad for you <laughs> yeah. well i you're think like, we gave some great advice should we I get think into so. our final two segments yes uh, we have we have one more submission but we could save it yeah let, okay let's save yeah. it let's save it let's, okay okay um, this is called, so we have two final segments. They're both relatively short. There's self-perception corner and then there's prophecy corner. Mm. One is sillier than the other. So self-perception corner we'll start with. Let's have you say how you feel like other people perceive you, mm -hmm. how you feel like you're perceived by others, and then we'll say how we actually perceive you. Okay. It's strangely enough, I do think, because I've been told this, people perceive me as chill and grounded a lot of the times is what i'm told mm -hmm. um and that i guess that sticks with me because it surprises me because i'm like i am heavily medicated so what are you talking about um uh and then what was the second part of that question uh, just what you guys just how think. you just how you for now just like how you believe you're perceived by other people um i think i'm perceived as what else oh my god how else do i think i'm perceived <laughs> libra but people say i'm warm people say i'm very warm which is nice and i do and i earnestly feel like a warm person uh and i'm trying to think of something negative but i people don't really tell you the negative things hmm oh people i people a lot of the times i get sometimes i'll just be being myself like quiet and mm -hmm. I always get an, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, what? And it's because I have a thing. Someone told me I have resting concerned face, oh. which drives me crazy. I wish I had resting bitch face because people would respect me oh. on a, in a different way. But resting concerned face, I think that means like my eyebrows kind of slant this way. And so Wait, I so just. Uh, be, be at rest, be at your rest, but also look towards us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't look towards us. I wonder. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't know if this is going to work. No, just, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let me try and... This is not... Okay. I can't do You know it. what? This isn't going to work. This I never won a straight face contest. Yeah. Oh, I do see it a little you bit. See it? I see it a little bit. I don't see concern. I see, like, uh, empathy. I feel like people would walk up to you on the street and, like, tell you their problems. That happens. Mm -hmm. I, I can I immediately see it. I feel like I have the same thing where people just walk up to me and say anything. And I just kind of like, they know I'll listen, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I have a lot of people. I, uh, well, I was in Wisconsin recently and someone like thought that he could convert me to Christianity. Oh. He like, he really took a swing. Yeah. And he started it. That's was impressive. He yeah. started with saying, hey, can I ask you a personal question? I was like, yeah. He said, are you Jewish? I was like, what? Oh, fuck. <laughs> so fuck. Get to me. Started. And, yeah. and then yeah. I was like, why? Yeah, that's what You're going to convert you. me. Yeah. And yeah. he's like, Actually, are you familiar? He's like, are you familiar with Yeshua? And then he like, it was like, yeah, he is my savior. He means uh, like savior. Is that Jesus? Yeah, Jesus. Yeah. Why didn't he say that? He transitioned. <laughs> that was his connection. That was his connection was like, oh, you're Jewish. Holy so like, fuck. here, <laughs> you know him. Yeshua, they, them. Yeah. <laughs> Two big gauges. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's such a great barista now. It's incredible. Really incredible barista. Yeah. Yeah. But, but. In, ter in terms of like how you are perceived, so I remember I like saw you online and I was like, all right, no, she's very funny. And then we were on a we were on a show together and I saw you, you were just sitting at like a little corner of caveat and I was like, Oh, I don't want to disturb her. I don't. and then and then like Oh, I remember I, that. And I and I said that to uh Ryan who was uh, hosting the show. And I was like, oh yeah, I've, I've seen her, but like, I don't, I don't want her to disturb her. She's, um, and he was like, you can say, she's the nicest person. And then I, <laughs> and then I came up to say hi and your face immediately lit up and I was just put at ease so much. Aww. And I was like, uh, I had, cause you come across, especially like you were wearing like a leather jacket. Oh, it was very long. Yeah. I think it was. I do. I and, have that. Yeah. And I was like, uh, you just, you looked cool as shit okay awesome you looked it was to the point where it was like oh i can't approach this person that's awesome yeah thank you 
And then I met, and I was like, oh, she's like, she's she's of of the the cuddliest personality, you yeah. know. It was like it was like just so e it was you were very easy to then like talk to and then and be close to. It That's was so, so easy. Nice. You, but uh, but I definitely was intimidated at first. That's so dope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Um, well, we just met today. Yeah. Which is crazy, but I already feel very like comfortable and at ease. I mean, with you. you're so easy to talk to. You're also very easy yeah. to talk to. We and you're also very cool. Oh, stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like this is I like watched in immediately like, oh, this person's lovely. I don't know. I feel like you um are energetic. I feel like you have a lot of stories. I feel like you've mm. lived a life. I, I do have a lot of stories. I feel like you've That's definitely awesome. lived a life. Didn't you work on a farm in Japan? In uh I went to Japan this summer, but I went I worked on a farm in Denmark. Ah, excuse me. That's and it. I have That's stories it. from both. <gasps> oh my god can i get you on for part two that's crazy yeah. <laughs> okay okay but i also i feel like there's a certain like um you 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 seem to me how do i explain it like some people i feel like um are insecure so they don't give people the time of day but i feel like you are secure enough in yourself that like if anyone approached you you would be so happy to talk to them and gracious but you also know where your like boundaries and lines are like i feel like you know who you want to like link up with talk to be friendly with that is so nice thank you i feel like it's true i love that um second yeah. segment prophecy, prophecy corner, corner. Yes. okay you want to introduce it uh nope Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I. It's um. It's a where, new segment. Yeah, it's a We're new segment. Shopping. Where do you Where do you see yourself in like maybe like five years time, and then we can say a little bit of what we see in your future. Oh yeah, God, I love this. And this is how Lucas is gonna believe in astrology. <laughs> yeah, is he is a famous astrologer? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <he's> <laughs> okay, where do I see myself in five years? I think in some ways I still see myself in New York City, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, I. So you'll be uh, 31. Woo, yeah, I will. You ever know you're going to say a sentence and it's going to have an effect? Yeah, 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 yeah. 31, God, that'd be, that'd be so old if yeah. you were 31. Yeah. That would be, you'd be like the yeah, oldest so person ever. The oldest person ever. Yeah. <laughs> um, Where do I see myself? I like, okay, I'll say my hopes because I also, I'm very superstitious. So I can't, okay. I can't firmly say I see myself somewhere. That's also, that's OCD. It's not even superstition. Uh, anyway, I think I'd like to see, I, I have hopes that I will be booked on something mm -hmm. and have some form of consistent comedy work. Uh, I, I feel like so many people that we're like are the scene right now is so close. Like everyone's just sort of like on the precipice of like the next step up yes. so i kind of feel like that will happen for all of us um within the next five years i'm hoping i don't think we're all gonna give up our dreams in the next five years i don't think we're gonna quit this move out to the grid and like off the grid and do whatever um what else as I nice as it does look to go off grid it does and then i can see you go going off grid. grid i can see you like taking a year and like living in a cabin Ugh, don't 100%. threaten me with a good time yeah uh my goal I tr i'm trying to do the 30 countries before 30 so Ooh, awesome. i hope that happens i'm at 25. wow so i just need five more i can do it you can totally can do, do it. it you're doing it um what else where else do i see myself hmm hopefully my own apartment holy fuck mm. i mean i love my roommates so much we have a great apartment but i'm 26 years old with two roommates i like the city is so hard, but I have confidence that somehow a real estate bubble will, will burst and we will uh, all have our own spaces. <laughs> yes. That would be sick as fuck. That's yeah. yeah. And maybe even buy, maybe people will start buying apartments. Like that's, that's kind of a dream. I'd love to own a piece of property. Oh my God. I'd love to have my, a farm. Um, obviously I'd love to have a, a garden in the next five years yeah. that I really care for. Uh, I'd love to have laundry in the building because here's a New York City tip. Do not do laundry in unit um, because your electricity bill goes through the roof. So unless you your utilities are paid. I, I have I have in unit. And how is your uh, how are your bills? It's all right. It's all right. Um, and OK, and I, I get I, it hurts more when I use the air conditioner in the summer. That does way more. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that always. Do yeah. It. That I always have, like, like another it, tattoo. I think I that'll happen. I think I'll have another piercing. I, all my tattoos are white except for one. Um, OK, racist. I think I'll have. <laughs> 
and it's actually gonna be that um yeah <laughs> it's gonna be a racist sign. i think I'll, I'll i'll pierce something i'll think i think in the next five years i'll probably get into some sort of accident uh that'll be life-changing in a way but i think i'll grow stronger from it that's nice. gonna happen in five years. It would be so funny if I was like, yeah, I am seeing the <laughs> oh accident. Oh my God, that's so you. That's so you. I'm definitely predicting the accident yeah. could 100%, 100%. happen. 100%. Yeah. You seem prone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can see you injured. I see you really into plants. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you said you're into plant medicine. I could definitely see you gardening oh, yeah, yeah. in five years, mm-hmm. continuing to. I mean, I think that all sounds great. The prophecies, I don't uh, disagree with any of that because I think it's a new segment. I mean... I'll give you like a goofy prophecy. Um, I can see you having a pet of some kind. Oh, I can see that. I yeah. See that. Probably uh, a cat. And like a really cute one. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only type yeah. I would get. Yeah, not you wouldn't go yeah. you wouldn't go for an ago. I'll tell you what I, what I see in your slightly nearer future. So before you get a garden, I think you may experiment with hydroponics, you know those towers. Oh, oh, I those have towers where they have like growing on all sides and uh-huh. then it like rotates and has like land. I think you I think you'll try I think you're going to try to imitate a garden environment with the means that you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that in your future. I certainly, I do have a little balcony that is decked out. There you go. And oh, I yeah. have looked at the arrow, whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, so yeah. It's a hydroponic oh, system. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see you getting really into, like, you know how people got into sourdough during the pandemic? Mm-hmm. I see you getting into some kind of, like, fermentation process. Uh, yeah. That's already yeah. happened to me. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. I could, I Basically, you're gonna become uh, Lucas. Lucas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is but, the future but you're bright. still gonna believe in yeah. astrology. I say it again. But you're still gonna believe in astrology. 100. percent And yeah. by that time, Lucas will also believe in astrology. Thank mm. God. Thank God. All right, you've been a great guest. You've Where been can amazing. people find Thanks you? Thanks for having me. Um, you can find me uh, at Long Island Dirt on all social platforms, and um, performing around New York City. Yay. Yay! Been such an amazing guest. You're uh, amazing. I You're can't amazing think of any plugs offhand. Performing a couple shows in Connecticut. Yes. In April, Lucas and I have big news coming up. So oh stay yes. Tuned for Whoa. that, we have big news coming up. But I also have some shows coming up in New York. I'm also going to be. Uh, oh, I'm going to be headlining NYCC Stamford. Whoa, in, uh, yeah. I think that's going to be in May. Also, I'm going to be a Rogue Island Comedy Fest. I'm going to go out there. I think it's actually going to be on my birthday as well that I'm going to be there. So, yeah. Gemini birthday. Yeah. I June 5th. That birthday. is. May 26th. Close. Close. <laughs> Basically the same thing. Almost two weeks apart. <laughs> Well, thank you to the stars for <laughs> thank you to this the episode. stars, and thank you for You're listening. You're doing so much. Join us on Patreon. For Join us on content. Patreon, please. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. See ya.